needs one more. Under pressure. Fires for the end zone. Yes. 59 yards away from a score that could give them a win. And it has to be a touchdown. Thrilling 21-16 with less than three minutes remaining. Northwestern needed a clutch fourth quarter drive. And quarterback Zach Kustoff would have the Wildcats on the move. Kustoff under a blitz. Waited as long as he could. Schweiger leaping grab. Second and 10, Northwestern. A minute 38 to go. Short drop, Kustak on the slant, delivers the ball beautifully. Teddy Jensen colored down inside the 20-yard line. Later in the drive, Northwestern faced a fourth and two. Option, Anderson gets a block, driving to the end zone, just short. With a first and goal from the one, Iowa would stop the Wildcats on three straight plays, setting up a fourth down play with the game in the balance. Fourth down for the game. Gustav makes the turn. Touchdown! <laughs> Michigan was nursing a 21-17 lead and appeared to be running out the clock. Oh, 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 oh. recovers. Someone flipped it out, came down from the outside and got that ball. And I hit the running back and I pull the ball out. The ball falls out. I dive on it. I recover the fumble. We get the ball back and the whole crowd erupts. And we're at Michigan Stadium. And there's 105,000 plus people there. And it was just pandemonium on the sidelines. With new life, Illinois quarterback Johnny Johnson drove the Illini deep into Michigan territory before facing fourth and six from the Michigan 15. This is Johnny Johnson, the sophomore quarterback from North Chicago. He's been brilliant today. They are in man. He needs one more. Under pressure. Fires for the end zone. Got it. Touchdown. Jimmy Klein, Illinois. They was hanging off of him. I never forget they was hanging off of his waist. And I remember he just he threw the ball in there and it was just perfect. And I never forget, I was like, wow, that was an MVP performance. Now that is what a quarterback is supposed to do. And we went on and won. The Badgers had a 30-27 lead and the ball and turned to Ron Dane to run out the clock. Here he comes on that draw play, the ball is loose. Oh my. Northwestern says they have it. We wait for an official call. They do. Oh my. Why are they even handing the ball off? Do you wonder? If I had my druthers, if I had had it all to do over again, I'd run a quarterback sneak with Mike Samuel. Uh, because of their line stunts, it would have been a gimme. But we decided Ron had had such a big game, hadn't dropped the ball all year. But they had a line stunt. Someone flashed in front of Dane's eyes. And I think he flinched a little. Sam, Mike Samuel may have missed the pocket, and the ball was never exchanged. Handoff was right there, and Dane did not wrap it up. That's incredible. That's right, you got to play forward, but he will second guess himself, and I'm sure he'll have a lot of help from guys like us to take right. second guess with him. With 49 seconds left, the Wildcats had new life and would quickly take advantage. Schnur, blitz coming. Steps up, and now he's got wide open space in front of him. Steve Schnur all the way to the 20 yard line. I remember running by Alvarez and seeing him with his hands in his head like this, and he dropped to his knees like this. And, you know, because, you know, I've, we've been in that spot and just thinking, you know, here you go again. You're, you know, you're, you're starting to see it slip away. I like the fade to the outside defense. First and 10 at the Wisconsin 20. Pump fake and debates and a touchdown. Paid to the outside debates. You talk about giving a game away. Wisconsin just gave a game away. Unbelievable. I remember jumping up and down and celebrating. I remember running over to Barnett, and uh, the first thing he said to me was, I thought you overthrew it. And I said, I, I thought it was a pretty good throw. <laughs> so anyway, we won the game, and uh, it was a great, great finish.